your girl is extra. Your girl is extra. This is not only going to be nipple to the wind, it's going to be internal organ to the wind. We've got some support, but we've also got some sex appeal. I like that. Sexy. <laughs> Hello beautiful people, welcome to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Yes, I know my bun is looking particularly high. It is all the way up to Jesus right about now. Um, curly hair is hard. Like, honestly, I don't quite know what to do with it. It's a lot to deal with. So we've just scraped it up into almost like an Amy Winehouse S bun. And we're just gonna cut half of it off from the camera so I don't scare people. But hey guys, I hope you are doing well. Today, I've got a little bit of a different video. We're gonna do a little bit of an underwear haul, darlings. We are coming up to Valentine's season, and I'll be honest, my underwear drawer looks very dusty. Like, whew, you can blow off the dust. The underwear drawer doesn't get a lot of love and attention. And I feel like I don't really ever see people like showing you what underwear they get. To be honest, I don't buy underwear. I haven't bought underwear in so long, but you know, seasons have changed. Valentine's are coming, and you know, maybe Mike doesn't have to just deal with, you know, the same old. Tighty whities <laughs> and not so glam underwear for one day. <laughs> it's nice to buy yourself new underwear. The thing is, I feel like new underwear actually makes you feel like a new person. And you know, I'm gonna sit here and act like I'm the most body confident person in the world. I'm, I'm furthermore the opposite of body confident. However, I feel like when you get a new pant, a new bra, you know, a little thong, a little, you know, boy short, you know, just something like that. It actually takes your confidence levels from like here to here. So that's what we're gonna do today, right? And hopefully I can give you guys some inspiration. And I had a voucher at Victoria's Secret for 500 pounds. Can you imagine? So I got some stuff from Victoria's Secret, but I'm also gonna compare it to stuff that's a little bit more affordable as well, because Victoria's Secret is expensive. It's really expensive, you know, for a bra and pants. Wow, it's a lot. It's a wow. Anyway, if you're not subscribed, subscribe. Um, I'm doing giveaways this month of February, so make sure you are interactive, leave a comment on my Instagram, on my Snapchat, on my Twitter, all that good stuff. But let's just get into this video. I'm rolling up my sleeves to show you under there. I'm getting so excited. Okay, so first thing, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the goodies from Victoria's Secret. This is the first little lacy number your girl got. Oh my gosh. Look at this. This is a little lacy number. 55 quid, I think this was. It's expensive for a bra, but I'm not gonna lie. It is super pretty. I love the black and the the like the nudie color lace. And now we're gonna get into TMI territory. I have relatively large nipples that do like to kind of stay kind of quite a lot of the time. And um, sometimes I avoided bras like this because I could wear any bra. It could even have a light level of padding, but my nipple would still be coming through. Can you just relax it, star? Can you just contract and just stay back in? Don't embarrass me. Honestly, it's not even cold and you're standing up. Relax. Um, so I always, I used to avoid bras like this and I used to always go for bras that would have like lots of layers of lining um, just so that, you know, no one would get a glimpse of my nipple. But I have become a little bit more like, you know what, F it, my nipple is, it says hi, it's shining, it's shining. <laughs> my nipple is shining. <laughs> I so love it. I love it when like a bra has got that like lacy bit that just goes on the skin like that and it looks really nice. So next up, this is so cute. I mean, this is a little bit mumsy, but it's still cute. This is 55 quid. This is not padded. If you guys don't know, and I feel like I've shared this a fair few times, I have a video on plastic surgery. I had a boob job probably about four years, almost five years ago now. I know, I know, I had a boob job, girls. Obviously, sometimes they can look, okay, well, now I'm exposing my boobs. Sometimes they can look a little bit like, you know, a little fake because I literally don't have any breast tissue. So I didn't have anything to cover and I don't have any body fat. Like my arms are super skinny. And I don't have any body fat up here. So it can look a little bit more implanty or fake, but I'm happy with what they look like. And um, I basically avoid, entirely avoid padded or bras that lift up my breast because I'm like, they don't even need to be lifted anymore. They already have lots of like silhouette to them without doing this we just don't need to do that so that's what i look for in a bra i like the color it's kind of a lacy number as well normally i go for really plain just smooth cup um bras but you know you gotta live a little and like choop, 
look it's such a nice little fit right now we're just going to be looking all kinds of cute we've got some support but we've also got some sex appeal i like that um oh matching panties now to be honest my favorite panty shape uh, my favorite panty shape is more of a boy short shape but they're not the most flattering under clothing but when clothing isn't on they make your bum look so cute this isn't my favorite shape but these just look so nice and obviously they were matching and they're actually quite thin i feel like they won't give me a vpl when i wear it these cost 16 pounds again like you know you can get free for 10 pounds in in primark um but no they're cute Okay, I got a bit fancy, people. Fancy for Valentine's Day. What is this? This is so... <laughs> Listen. So basically, I had a gift voucher over Christmas. I had a gift voucher um, for £500, which is a lot of money to spend in Victoria's Secret. And I don't really go to Victoria's Secret. I was like, what am I buying? Anyway, there was the new Balmain collection. They had like a collaboration. I'm a Balmain fan, but I can't necessarily purchase Balmain items all the time. But I can pe purchase a piece of history. And your girl is extra. Your girl is extra. And she found the most shining, 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 shining. Yeah, she actually just bought a shining, um, what do you even call this? Like a bra itemy thing? I know, I know it's gaudy guys, I know it's gaudy, but it had to be, it's so cute. It's a lucky little piece of history. And I had a gift voucher and I didn't want to buy loads and loads and loads of bras. I was like, let me just buy something special. I love the fact that it's got like the branding on it and just the down monties everywhere. Listen, imagine if you're like, you know, it's Valentine's, your man takes off your top and then he just sees you with your crystal bedazzled piece of underwear. He's gonna think you're either bougie or crazy. This is expensive because it is the Balmain collaboration. I think this was 220 pounds. I'm not suggesting you guys go out there and buy that. Maybe a cute guy who's watching might wanna get this for one of his girlfriends. One of his girlfriends? His only girlfriend? <laughs> his only girlfriend don't be too time in so this does make them look a bit boob like but what i thought is they'd actually be really nice it's very madonna under like a black blazer or like something a little bit smarter like i'm not just going to be walking out on the street <laughs> with my bedazzled uh, top but like under a jacket or something oh lord we're stuck we're stuck we've got boobage under a jacket that would look really really good to be honest i'm not a victoria's secret shopper i do find it to be quite expensive but i do know that people like to go there for like special occasions or if it's their birthday or if they want to get someone a present and they want to get them something really nice yeah you can find things like this at victoria's secret which i'm down for but not everybody has that pocket so let's just move on so i also went on to azos.com just to get myself you know some cute little pieces and i went slightly overboard i'm not gonna lie and i picked up this to be honest i'm looking at this and i'm like can you even fit my fist into that what the hell this is like the size of a newborn's head what is the point in this this is just about gonna cover my nipple but how cute is the color i love little lacy bralettes like this which again i was always very very scared to even try these because i always wanted so much coverage but now i'm just like i want to wear what i feel cute in and it might be you might see my nipple and it might say hi but whatever um i just thought this is so cute the thing is though when you wear stuff like this you're kind of wearing it for yourself you're not really wearing it for anyone I'm not the kind of person who's out there, you know, nipples to the wind all the time. Sometimes, we sometimes have a little nipple to the wind, but most of the time I'm not. So when I get nice underwear like this, this is really for me. And I was like, I look good in yellow. So yeah, cute. Oh yes, and then this is my favorite. This is my favorite style of pants. These look quite big though. Why do they look so big? What size are these? These are a size eight, okay. So like French knickers are my favorite. I feel like just that little bit of booty cheek coming out the bottom, it just makes your bum look cuter. Even if you don't have any bum, like this will create an illusion of having something because half of something's gonna come back unless you have an extreme extender back, which this is not going to be flattering for you. But I have got a little bit of lower booty. I've got a little bit of lower booty just coming underneath there. This shows that off nicely. So then I found this little sexy number. Sexy. <laughs> can you tell me this is not cute look at this look at the pearls just going down the middle it's a long line bra i love long line bras because they they're not like a bra they're like a 
long line bra. Um, so, so cute with the pearl DLs and the contrast in color. It's fantabulous, darling. I feel like this is a bra that you can wear like to be glam and to be sexy, but also you can just wear to work, you know, underneath a shirt. And then you're like, I feel so good underneath. Oh my gosh, what is this? I feel like this is one kind of 50 shades, 50 shades of gray vibe, like just wearing sexy underwear underneath your clothing, just so that you feel good. There's something wrong with that. Listen, feel good in your underwear. No, this is gorgeous. And then, look at my face, guys. Look at Patricia's face. I need to rate this video. It's not really X rated, it's only underwear. It's just material. It's just material, okay? But this is a go. Come on now. Can you not tell me this is cute? But look at this suspender belt. How cute and sexy is that? No lies are told. You just wanna wear the matching set just because. And now to be completely honest with you, I do not understand what suspender belts are actually for. They were for like tights. Like you know the tights that grandmas wear, but then sometimes it kind of starts hanging down and then gathering at the ankle and it just looks wrinkly and off key. So that's not sexy. Plus we all wear normal tights if anyone actually wears tights anymore. Uh, but it was still cute. And it looks so nice on the website with the bra and with like the suspenders and the knickers. I was just like, let me, let me just add this to my cart. This is just adding to the cart for the sake of adding to the cart. But it's cute, come on. This is so cute with the bra as well. Let's look with the bra and the suspenders. Oh, okay, this was gorgeous, right? I got a little bit carried away. I didn't even get basics. I've got basics. I've got my black, my white, my beige. Like, I've got the basics. So we just wanted to add some pizzazz and vibrance, right? And this is so nice. I saw this on the website. Again, this looks like it's literally just gonna cover a nipple. What in the hell? Oh no, we're getting some coverage. I don't think you can tell how cute this actually is. What I love is that it's got this extra piece of fabric right there, which I think is really nice. Not only does it have that detail there, but it's got this lace detail right here, and this is made of velvet. A velvet queen, how nice is that? This is basically a bra that's got a little bit of everything going on. I am not mad at that bra, I think it's super, super cute. I think it would really look nice with some denim as well. And then it comes with the matching panties as well. Now, <laughs> I feel like there's things that you don't wanna say what you're gonna say. Now, I don't understand what this little hole is here for. This depends on where this sits, cause this might be sitting, or this little hole, maybe right where your tuft might be growing out. I mean, if you've got a little bit of Brazilian going on, I'm like, why would I want my... What you don't want is a pair of knickers which literally sits right where the tuft is gonna come out. Not that I'm extremely tufty or anything, but it's like, really? You want that to project out of the underwear? Besides this bit, the matching velvet underwear I thought was really cute. It's got the lace cute bits at the back as well. Oh, so gorgeous. Okay, so also talking about the underwear as outerwear, it's the full lace line bodies. This one was from Paul Moi, which is also on ASOS. And these are really good to wear like out and about, like with a white, with a pair of wide leg trousers and a blazer um, on top. Yes, and the cup size looks so reasonable. But I love these kind of one pieces. I've been really wanting one of these just so I can wear them with jeans or with a blazer on top. It's like how you can bring your like sexy from the inside out. I think that is so cute. To be honest, this was the best one I found. A lot of them just seemed too, too underwear-y. It was literally see-through. I'm like, listen, that is just doing the most. Um, so this one was, although it is underwear, I think it could pass for a cute little top. And I, I never understand when they have like those body suits and they're lace and they're all see-through. So we're actually doing actual nipple to the wind, not fake nipple to the wind, actual just breasts out on show. Maybe that's the fashion, I don't really know. <gasps> this is so cute! This was like my favorite pi- Oh, what the hell is this? Okay, so this was, this is a lot more open than I thought. I don't even know what this is. This looks like a doily. This is actually a doily. They just made a doily and sold it as underwear. Look, what the hell is this? It doesn't look like what it looks like in the picture. There's not enough fabric here. This is not only gonna be nipple to the wind, it's gonna be internal organ to the wind. Um, what the? 
What in the hell? Oh, oh, I get it. There we go. This is so confusing. Do you know what? I don't like clothing I don't understand. Now I'm here, we get it. But there isn't much material here, mate. I wonder what this looks like on, just like this. Listen, we're not gonna get, we're not gonna get any coverage here, and it's 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 very very see through. Um, so that's a bit of a fail. Sorry, guys. So this is what I'm talking about. This here is a proper, really nice bralette. It's like a little lace number. It is a bit lacy and a little bit see through, but you can nipple pad it. Um, I love the shape of it. It's just so cute. It kind of crosses over, slightly cropped. It's got this little bit of um, like ribbon detail right there that kind of cinches you in. And then it comes with Jesus. <laughs> that is for someone with the longest back on earth. What the? What in the hell is that? A high waisted thong? That is a high waisted thong. I wonder what that looks like on. I need to get back to you guys. This is a. Someone would have a really long back for that to look good. What the hell? They never showed the back of this on this website and I can un understand why. It's nice though because it comes above the belly button and I love the ribbon detail as well. We're just gonna have to work our way around the thong situation. Sorry guys, I got carried away. Guys, this number here. <gasps> this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bra. Look at that detail right there. That was so cute. I was like, this is right up my street. This is so nice. It's actually quite similar to this, but this isn't actually that see-through and this is velvet right there. I just wanted to add some glamour to my underwear wardrobe because it was looking like an old age pensioner's home. It was just looking gray. <laughs> How nice is that though? Nipples to the wind. It's all good though. We are good. Oh, these panties. I thought that these would look really good with the pearl bra. These are from New Look. I've actually bought some other bits from New Look. Their underwear section is actually epic and actually be really, really affordable. These are a size A and they're see through, see through AF. And I feel like they are so cute and they look really nice and they'll go perfectly as a contrast with the like pearl set. And finally, oh, I like this, yeah, yeah. Oh, I feel like I've just seen this like properly on camera. It looks so nice. This is another new look goodie. It's a long line bra with a little bit of satin and it's got a little mesh here. This one is gonna give me one push up breast. Look, it's just gonna do one cuppage, but it's so nice. I thought it was pretty. And I think it would look really nice with this little seafood pair. Like these would match and look really good together i think like ooh. okay guys i think that is it for me that is the first time i've done an underwear haul ever i don't know if you like that kind of thing but i wanted just to share a couple of bits and bobs that i picked up again valentine's is coming my underwear wardrobe was looking looking dry it really did look dry it really needed to be resurrected from the dead and i feel like i was able to get some nice bits that I'm happy with and maybe other people in my life might be happy with. Um, but yeah, a little inspo. I have links down below if you wanna check them out. And in the meantime, I'll catch you later. Again, follow me on my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter. I am doing a giveaway this February. So just be interactive and I'll drop you guys DMs. So guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.